Well, here we are again, messing with computers again, and this time on a much more rickety table, which I'm hoping doesn't collapse. So why am I putting bits and pieces of furniture at risk here? Well, if the camera will ever focus, this came out. The Windows 8 release preview. Apparently Microsoft still wants people to check out Windows 8 and stuff like that. So I think it's time for a rematch between Windows 8 and the Delosaurus. Now last time we ran into some problems because I had the 16... the 16-bit... oh yeah, that'd be ancient. I had the 64-bit version of the Windows 8 consumer preview. And a very astute commentator who pays attention to silly little details that I haven't thought of in years pointed out that the the operating system probably wouldn't run on this ancient machine because the ancient Celeron in this ancient machine doesn't support 64-bit anything. And that was a real wake-up call for me as to how long I've been using 64-bit processors. Because I think, if I remember right, the computer I built in 2005, 2005, had a 64-bit processor in it. So, yeah, I kind of gotten too used to 64-bit stuff. In any event, since I can't find any intelligent use for this piece of junk but don't want to get rid of it, let's see if we can get Windows 8 running on it, even though it's an ancient Dell from 2000 with, what was that again, 600 megahertz, 32-bit only Celeron, and I don't know. Let's see if this thing will even boot. One of these years I'll stop torturing this machine. Let's roll. Got some speakers ready too in case this makes any Look how rickety this setup is. This poor table is going to collapse. Okay. We know this thing makes weird noises when the, when the optical drive spins up. And it went straight into Windows 2000. Trouble already. Hmm. Control Alt Delete. Oh shoot. Nope. Let's try that. Nope. We got to hold in for three seconds because the thing's booting. I hope I don't kill the hard drive in this thing trying to get it to work. Alright, let's try that again. Come on, boot! Okay, that's doing something. <laughs> this thing is a joke. It did spin for a little, but here it goes into Windows 2000 again. Hmm. I do have a 32-bit version of this OS, though. So, to the folks that have been keeping an eye on all this, any more bright ideas? <laughs> Let's see what I can do here. Hmm, looks like this computer once again isn't going to cooperate. The CD-ROM comes before the hard drive as far as boot devices go. So there's absolutely no excuse for this thing. And um, this time I actually am, or was I should say, running a 32-bit version of this. Darn! I totally want to try and get an ancient, or uh, to try to get this machine to run an operating system it wasn't designed for. It'd be kind of fun to torture this thing like that, but... Okay, it looks like this yellowed piece of junk has dodged a bullet yet again, and I just wasted some time downloading this thing. Because every other computer I could use to check out Windows 8 release preview supports 64-bit stuff. Uh, we'll be back once I can find something I actually want to work with here. Well, once again, the crap top's gonna have to be the guinea pig here. So, we've got Windows 8 release preview, the 64-bit version, all ready to go. And howdy, folks. Let's fire this up. All right. Last time, uh... Last time we did this, I wasn't very impressed, and I haven't been hearing very much in terms of uh, improvements. I understand the Windows 8 experience hasn't gotten all that much better since the consumer preview, so I don't have very high hopes for this. But I do have an image file ready to restore, um, because I'm just going to blow away the entire drive. Boot from CD. I'm going to blow away the entire drive. Ooh, cool. Windows. I'm going to blow away the entire drive this time around, and I've got an image to restore when I've decided I've had enough of this nonsense. So, okay, Windows. Can it get any simpler than that? <laughs> Ooh, Windows. <laughs> Let's wait and see what happens after it finishes booting up. 
That's more like it. Windows 8, do you want to, how do you want to install it? Blah, 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 etc. I can't use the mouse yet. Next. What? There's no, there's no mouse driver on the installer. I gotta use the stupid little touchpad thing. I gotta get a mouse pad anyways. The mouse, the optical mouse probably isn't gonna play very well with this leather top table. Setup is starting. Setup is starting. Do-da, do-da, do-da. There goes the drive. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, product key time. It, nice. It took the key from the 32-bit version that I never used. That's good. Saves me from having to download and print off another key. Next. Okay, install Windows key files. I said, I don't want to upgrade. I want to custom install Windows only. All right, let's uh, pick some partitions and get installing here. Oh, we want this. And I want to blow everything away. Oh, Windows not only back to yeah, uh, uh, no. Um, drive options advanced. Let's delete that partition. Okay, we gotta do some partition stuff here. Or not. Okay, here goes the install. Hopefully the mouse works when everything comes back up, but I've totally destroyed everything on this laptop, and uh, now Windows 8 is gonna completely replace it. So, we'll have to see how well everything works now. <laughs> Didn't work too well the last time, but hopefully things get better this time. So I'm sure this install is going to take quite some time, so we'll be back when this is all finished. Ah, oh, finally, back to the personalized screen where you can pick colors and stuff, and the mouse is working too. So let's go with dark blue and go with crap top for the PC name. Alright, let's fire everything up and see how much has changed since the consumer preview. Zoom on in here. Well, that's obviously not going to change. <laughs> hey, cool! Windows! Can it get any more generic than that? Alright, so we're loading everything up here. Well, that's cute. Looks like we still have the same old thing where you log on and you get the time and something like that. Now let's see how user-friendly this is. Let's pretend I don't know a thing about Windows 8. And I'm like, uh, click. That's a big improvement. You don't have to do the gesture thing to get that thing to come up. You can just click. So let's log on here. Welcome. Are there any new sounds? Hmm. Nope. Apparently there isn't. Is there any sound on the computer at all? Desktop. Oh, yeah. Nice. Flowers. That's the perfect default desktop. <laughs> Uh, and again, I don't. What's this hand thing do? Oh, that just drags stuff around. Or what the? What's that all about? Uh, go back to taking up the whole screen. So what, I put one desktop here and I put another desktop. What the heck? Uh, Windows 8 is still just as cryptic as ever. Let's try putting this thing on the internet and see how we fare. So I'm looking through the themes here, and I still don't see any kind of Windows Classic. That's not good. Let's try this nature theme. Oh, brother. Yep, still no Windows Classic. What's this high contrast? Oh, that kind of looks like it, to an extent. But, yeah, they gotta bring Windows Classic back in order for this to really work. Hmm. I see this old glitch is still around. Everybody's used to going to the corner and clicking, but if you're not quick enough, you might open your web browser by mistake. You actually have to go down and wait for the start button to materialize. They've sped it up a little, but it's still not the same as having a button. Plus, opening up having to click something to go to the desktop, I mean, come on. You know, my number one concern about this OS is that it's too much of a jack of trades trying to, um, you know, PCs and other devices share the stage now, PCs share, uh, traditional PCs, I should say, share the stage with other types of devices in the personal computing world nowadays. But I think uh, this OS is still trying to cater a little too much uh, to the various crowds and stuff like that. And it's abandoning PCs just a bit too much. Let's see, uh, so I go here, I can't, oh yeah, another thing I hate. You can't just shut the machine right down. Change account picture and sign out. You can so there's still an extra step in shutting the computer down. You can't just go bam shut down when you're done with the computer for the day. Let's see what happens when we push the button. Standby mode. 
Then when you come out of standby, you're back to this. But at least they fix the clicks and stuff like that. But yeah, there's no quick way to shut the computer down when you're done for the day. Uh, I get what the articles are saying about Windows 8 being too convoluted and on its way to being the next Vista. All right, well, Pretty Flowers, unfortunately, isn't going to cut the mustard. I think this is going to be the end of the Windows 8 experiment for now, unless something else comes up, because I can see why all the tech critics are saying that this is going to be the next Vista. It's just too different. I mean, I realize that traditional computers are sharing the personal computing stage with lots of other devices these days, but Windows 8 goes too far in that direction. It is just too much of a jack-of-trades operating system. So, I think as much as traditional PCs are sharing the stage with other devices these days, Microsoft needs to design this OS with the option so that traditional PC users can keep what they already know. And I can imagine what kind of ramifications this operating system might have in a corporate IT environment where companies try to avoid having to teach their people computers all over again every time a new operating system comes out. Uh, I don't know. I, I kind of agree with what these, these articles that have been saying that Windows 8 is the next Vista. I can very easily see it being that way. Oh well, let's not even bother shutting the machine off correctly. Because I am re-imaging this back to Windows 7. And that's what it's going to stay as. What a waste. Till next time, folks. This is Multimedia J, signing off. Thanks for stopping by. Epic Fear.